success of being a person of color may lead to emotional, mental, and psychological health issues. That is the premise of the organizers of the Mental Health Symposium scheduled for next week on the University of Houston campus. Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers, where I'm joined by two of the people directly involved in that symposium, psychiatrist Dr. Eli Anderson and Ronald Lockett, the Polemark or president of the Houston alumni chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi. Good morning to both of you. Morning, morning. Uh, why is this uh, a good idea? Uh, this is a good idea because we're trying to demystify uh, mental health illnesses in our community. A lot of times people will uh, try to, they don't want to discuss mental health issues, they want to keep things quiet, but we want to bring it to the forefront front so people are aware of what the mental health issues are, can uh, find out ways to diagnose themselves, get special, special treatment from our specialists that we'll have. Dr. Anderson, in your practice, have you seen specific kinds of issues that are among people of color that might not be of other ethnic groups? Well, sure. Just uh, last week, as a matter of fact, I had a uh, adolescent patient with his mother uh, who is going through the normal stages of adolescence, breaking away, becoming his own person, and being warned um, uh, by his mother uh, that he needs to be very careful in the street um, as how he would approach a policeman uh, who might stop him, etc. Uh, that talk that we talk about, that we have with our sons. Now, this is a person who is going through a bit of anger anyway, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. trying to become a, uh, an adult um, where there's a normal amount of anger, but has to learn to suppress that as the um, threat of being um, um, harmed by a policeman uh, is, is ever on his mind. So that's something that, that you find that's within the community of color where people actually think, okay, that's a, that's a legitimate threat and that adds yeah. some stress to their lives. Exactly. A part of this symposium, it seems to me also, was that, that you're, you're talking about other kinds of issues that, uh, that people have to deal with. Uh, dementia, maybe some other kinds of issues along the way. Is that part of what's going to be part of the symposium? Well, well certainly. Uh, you know, there is a, a stigma attached to a psychiatric illness that's not attached to, say, um, cardiac illness, mm -hmm. for example. If you tell a person, I have congestive heart failure, they tend to empathize and sympathize with you. If you tell a person, I have the early stages of dementia, they tend to pull away and um, not understand that, that, that the brain is simply another organ of the body just as the heart is. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's probably not just with a person of color, maybe associated with a, a southern uh, issue of if Jack Black or the Bible can't cure it, then it doesn't need to be fixed. Right, right. So, okay. <laughs> so I mean, how's, it, how's this symposium going to be structured and who are you hoping to attract to it? Okay. So we're trying to uh, attract anyone in the community uh, from middle age, elderly, and also children. But we're going to have different speakers set up that will give um, seminars and we'll also have uh, a lot of vendors who work in the health community and mental health community there to provide information. So it's, uh, it, it'll, it'll last from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. On, on November 18th. And it is, it's open to everyone in the, in the general public. We are asking uh, people to register so we can uh, expect, so we, so we know how to prepare for mm -hmm. and expect. They'll, we'll have giveaways, we'll have raffles, we'll have uh, refreshments as well. I, I was uh, gone, I was looking over the information and it took me back to decades ago when Grandmaster Flash <laughs> had a hit song out that said in part, don't push me cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. That was a popular song in the communities of color. And that seems to kind of Mm -hmm. capsulize exactly. the kind of thing you're talking about. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's ever much an issue. Uh, it's an existential issue. Uh, and it, it's something that prevents your development in other areas. Uh, it forces you to suppress feelings that um, you should be able to enunciate mm -hmm. and work through. By the way, that was the first uh, Grandmaster Flash reference ever on this program. We should probably <laughs> note that. Uh, I want to make sure that we have information out there to let people know specifics about this symposium because it could be very important to some of you. Um, it's, it's going to be at the University of Houston from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the U of H Alumni Center. There's a number there and it's free to everybody, but they want you to call and register or go online. I'll put 
put the online information on my website. The number is 832-895-9799. And again, uh, we want you to go to uh, clicktohouston.com and go to the Newsmakers page to get the information, more information about this. So, uh, Ron Lockett, Dr. Anderson, thank you for coming in. Thank Good you. luck on the uh, symposium. I hope you get uh, standing room only there <laughs> for thank all you. those people Definitely. who may need that. We okay. appreciate you coming in. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. All right. uh, on any given night, uh, there are thousands of young people on the streets of Houston, homeless with no place to go, but there is a place called Covenant House, why men and women will be sleeping outside next week to call attention to their plight and how you can help. That's next.